Todd, who will do a uh, technical overview of Open Migrate. So Technology Services Group uh, started back in 1996. We're based in Chicago. Uh, we have worked a lot on the uh, ECM uh, platforms, um, and we've had many different types of projects, over 350 projects dealing with ECM solutions and a diverse number of uh, industries, anywhere from financial services to manufacturing, food and beverage, and so on. Uh, we started working with Alfresco back in 2006, doing both uh, document management implementations as well as web content management. Uh, before we go any further, I just want to kind of give you a little background on who I am. Uh, like I said before, my name's Naveen. Um, I am a uh, technical architect here at Technology Services Group as well as a project manager. Uh, I've been working with El Fresco since our partnership began, and um, one of the lead um, uh, developers here at TSG for El Fresco. And I'm, I'm Todd Krasina. I'm a, another senior manager here at TSG. I've been the Open Migrate uh, product manager, tech arc, um, since its inception back in uh, 2006 um, as well. So now that we kind of gave you a little bit high-level understanding of food technology service, to get to the heart of it, let's start talking about some of the migration and what we define as migrations, just to make sure that we're all on the same page. Um, there's a number of different reasons why we've seen migrations in the years that we've been working with ECM solutions. We've seen a number of different types of implementations uh, that come across our table, um, anywhere from we're switching vendors and we need to get content from one place to another to well, we have to do an upgrade and we're going to take the opportunity to move to a new platform. Those are two of the biggest reasons that we've seen uh, from a technology standpoint. Other reasons why we've seen migrations occurring are more centered around business processes, around the fact that there's mergers, acquisitions, uh, just changing organizations as a whole. Uh, part of that sometimes trickles down into a consolidation of environments too. You know, you acquire a new company and you need to consolidate uh, your your environments into a single platform. Um, but then there's also other reasons why we've seen migrations. Uh, one example of this would be like bulk processing. You know, there's you have a whole bunch of documents that are coming in from third party sources and you want to be able to put it into your system. So having a like kind of like a scanning solution around it and importing that in as a bulk process. Uh, this begs the question, is migrations really a one time thing? Uh, we've seen it on a number of different occasions that it can be, especially if you're talking about doing an upgrade, a one-time activity to upgrade, but it's also something that we've noticed from a repeatable process um, from the perspective of, you know, we're kind of continuously going through business changes and we need to have a repeatable process. The takeaway is that every migration we do is different. So in the years that we've been doing this, we've seen um, uh, some challenges, some common threads that always seem to kind of crop up as we are beginning the discussions with our clients. You know, we, they, the biggest one is ensuring that specific business rules are applied, making sure that, you know, when I take content from one system to another system, I want to make sure that I can either manipulate the data or make sure that the data comes over correctly um, because of a re-architecture or whatnot. I want to make sure that this is done correctly. Uh, other commonalities are, are well, I want to migrate documents from different data sources. I have three or four different repositories I want to consolidate into a single one. How do I make sure I get all of that over into a single repository uh, using a repeatable process? Uh, reduce expenses is always a big thing on the business mind. Uh, minimizing the time and effort to set up large migrations. So if I've already done this once, how can I make sure I can repeat it and not have to start from scratch each time? Uh, decrease time to migrate documents, you know, obviously making sure that the faster we can migrate documents, the faster we can continue on with our business. Tracking migration progress so that way we can always kind of look at what happened and what didn't happen and make sure that we know that these documents did get over um, correctly. This is a very important in a validated system. Um, and then uh, reducing effort for uh, recovering of uh, failed migration so that way we know exactly what happened in uh, you know, if we need to roll back, we can. All of these common threads kind of led to the creation of Open Migrate. Uh, originally, Open Migrate was created as an internal tool to help us 
to, so that way we didn't have to rebuild uh, every migration from scratch. Uh, we had a common platform that we could kind of start off with. Uh, as we saw success kind of grow, we decided to release it as an open source offering, uh, so that way we could uh, extend upon it. Um, the other thing that kind of came out of this as a side was a methodology around how we should migrate documents, what are the best practices around it, and open migrate follows and helps make sure that those best practices are uh, being used. So this is the framework of, of uh, Open Migrate at a very high level. We can get into more details later, but basically at its core, it's a, it's a migration engine. Uh, the engine is basically the, um, the building blocks in which all the other parts kind of work around. Um, it's got a lot of plug-and-play components that you kind of choose and pick which parts you really care about from where you're going to from your sources, or where you're coming from from your sources, and where you're going to from the target side. Um, along with that, we add in a lot of capabilities to customize it to meet the individual business needs. So when we first built Open Migrate, we kind of kept a few things in mind that we wanted to do. Uh, have in there to make sure that it was uh, very flexible, and we decided to go with building our architecture on top of open source of frameworks that already existed in the marketplace. We wanted to make sure that it was highly configurable, so that way it can change and adapt as needed. We understood that high volume capacity or cap capable is, was very important, and then we also wanted to make sure that it was platform agnostic, so we could take it from different places and make sure that it all operates successfully. Uh, so that's a very high level understanding of what a migration